All right, everybody, welcome back to our, uh, I don't know, somethings episode of Core Keeper. I think it's number five. Uh, I did the stupid again, and I started playing thinking I was recording when I wasn't. It's like the second time I've done this within, like, three or four videos, dude. It's kind of kind of cringe, but what can you do? Can't do much except, you know, be dumb when you're dumb like I am. Uh, anyways, basically all I was doing was mining around a little bit, though, uh, like down here and checking out more of this clay area. Uh, I made sure that our NPC, the merchant that dropped out of Glurch, could move in here and, you know, ha made that happen. And I got the bronze armor upgrade, which is, you know, just a significant upgrade to the copper armor. It gives you more of everything, um, more HP, more armor, more damage of like all kinds as you can see it gives you uh, a little bit of each kind of damage and then i just went over towards the gorm trail because i wanted to try to find the hive area i guess with like the bugs right like with, with with all this stuff and the the grubs and stuff which i think we saw a couple of in the last episode when we were uh, you know running around the gorm trail but basically i didn't actually find that yet but i did find this and i was explaining what it was you see, so, I mean, you have this big-ass trail, and it goes al along the entire map. You can see him running around in the circle. Um, and this is the spawn point where, presumably, if you use the Gorm respawner, which there is one, there's a respawner for every boss, um, it'll spawn right here. And I assume that, I've never done it myself, but the same thing is over where Glurch originally spawned. He was, like, bouncing up and down on top of this thing, and I, it's his spawn point, right? So when you use a spawner again, it's like, well, where would the boss actually spawn? Just on top of you? And that doesn't make the most sense for something w where, like, the bosses have really specific themes about, like, how they work. Um, with Glorch, you know, he's just... Well, Glorch doesn't really have one. He's just kind of sitting around in the dirt biome. Uh, but Gorm has a giant bug trail that he runs around for the whole map so it makes sense that you know he respawns and continues that so you know if you spawn him like at your home what's he gonna do just destroy everything and then run off to his trail like that doesn't really make sense so this is where he would respawn i assume um but i also found a bunch of bugs lots of bugs and larvae over here that i had to kill a lot of um so we got plenty of fiber which is nice since you know we were kind of short on that we've punched a bunch of plants gotten some chrysalis stuff which may act as a way to spawn our own larvae in the future for like a farm or something in order to um get you know just have a really easy source of potentially meat larva meat which is kind of gross but whatever and fiber and whatever else larva might spawn uh but yeah we're gonna um continue on though i think we're just gonna go back home actually first all right, so a bit of a change in the plans uh, for where we're going. I am actually going to try to go straight to the left since I haven't actually gone straight to the left, just kind of like to the left a little bit and then down and, you know, Glurch was there and stuff. So uh, I think I'm just actually just going to go straight to the left and see if I can find anything over there that is different. It looks like that I am just going to find more ruins, though, potentially, since, you know, it's the first thing that shows up. Uh, we're going to kill some of these slams. I also made this... Uh, which is a nice little dagger that does a shitload of damage. Because cause I just I, I want to try it out. I mean, like, look at that. It's cool. It, it's kind of nifty. And, I mean, it's freaking effective. It, it insta-kills slimes, bruh. Hits fast, does a lot of damage. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's just cool. I just wanted to see how, how it worked. Um, and we can kind of just, like, one-shot a lot of things now. Like copper and the basic dirt. So, that's pretty nice pretty easy going as far as the mining in the uh basic biome goes just break all of these got another one of these nifty earrings grab all the mushrooms that we can get as well and uh yeah let's just uh where was it was it down here yeah here we go so right here we have a big old area of these i mean they're not ruins oh yeah they are there's more down there okay so but these are like pots and these ones can give a, a shitload of stuff i mean we just got like an ocarina to sell we got some food uh we got mechanical parts we're getting iron ore from these that's a chest that's pretty cool a precious urn glow tulip healing potion some ancient coins and ancient gemstones really interesting i would like to take these as well oh that, that one was a pot this is like a big one like a big uh treasure trove i guess 
Uh, will it be more of this stuff? There's a, a bomb, which I guess is probably more valuable than this. So I'll, I'll grab the bomb. So that's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't look like that's actually leading to a biome or anything, though. That is very nice that you, that you can just find areas like that, though. I think that is quite nifty. Man, there's really just not much of anything. There's caveling territory over there. Can I get there with the bridges that I have? No, I need, like, two more. Is that two more or is that one more? I don't know. It kind of looks like one and a half more, but that's definitely not uh, a thing. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're just gonna... I don't know. I guess we'll go back again. We're gonna just store all of our stuff. I don't really... Like, I would like to grab as much of the stuff as I can in case I want to use, like, any of the, the things, like the caveling chest and stuff. I don't want to just throw it away. Uh, so... I'm gonna go back and put stuff away, and then... I don't know, I mean, do I even, even want to go down here? Because it kind of just looks like it's cavling area, dude. Is there not hives? Is, is it just cavling, like, this half of the map or something? And clay the other half? I don't know. Where is the hive, then? It's so weird. Like, I guess it would have to be outside of the, uh, Gorm Circle. I really want to want to make sure that it's not within it, though. Because if it is within it, that's where the hive mother is going to be. And I don't, I don't want to be just looking for the Hive Mother in just, you know, random areas outside of the Gorm uh, Circle, which obviously is a much bigger map than what is inside. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's see if how much I can sell this Ocarina for. 78. That's a lot of coins, dude. Yeah, that this is obviously w with where the, uh, the Cavelings are is where you find the more valuable stuff. Um... Man, you can sell those for a lot, too. Goodness gracious. Okay, well, I'm just gonna sort out all this crap, and then uh, I'll be uh, back on the grind for, you know, adventuring. Well, I found a pond, which is not very exciting, since, obviously, you know, I can't get through that uh, without bridges, uh, or unless there is a way to get around it like this, but there usually is not, so I do not have high hopes for that does appear that there seems to be oops a way to get over there my pickaxe has once again broken just how it be i suppose um doesn't look like there's anything actually over here though just some more chasms well i mean on the other side of the chasms obviously obviously there'll be something so i guess we're gonna put down a crafting bench here and grab like 20 bridges uh, that's 18 which kind of triggers me but whatever it's fine it's fine, and let's just bridge across and see if there's anything over here. Okay, I don't think we're actually going to find anything new over here, though, unfortunately. It's just going to be more clay area. Good God, why is it so long, though? Ah, I need more. All right, well, we got some extra wooden bridges. I guess I should just keep more of them on me. Since you, you can't jump across ledges or anything in this game, the only way... This is kind of cool. It's like a camp. Look at this. This is interesting. I really like this. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. All right, cool. That'll be a cool uh, a cool a screenshot for the thumbnail. Um, and now we're just gonna break down the camp and see what we can get from here. You know, some nice uh, ores in all these little boxes. Some mechanical parts. It's pretty nifty. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's. I don't know why there'd be just like. Why would there be a camp here, bro? These people just died like a million years ago, and so all of the stuff has just been, you know, caved in by all the clay and stuff. Like, it's really kind of. Okay, that uh, kind of spooked me. I didn't realize how close I was to the. Uh, man, he is right there. God damn. I can pick this up, can't I? Look at that. It's a camp tent. An abandoned makeshift tent. Who would have lived here? facts bro and that's kind of spooky because i mean that's kind of spooky dude i guess i'll just grab the campfire too since i mean it doesn't really look like you can like make things or that you can make these just they're like little you know findable things that you can you know find it's really nice uh the campfire also does provide a lot of light so i could use that in an area in my uh, base i suppose Anyways, it doesn't seem like there's anything except clay area to the top right as we've seen Where's that light coming from, though? That's on the trail, or, like, to, like, the direct right of it or something. Get some fireflies. Okay. There's more clay over here. Can I find an entrance to the hive area? It seems like I can see the ores more clearly, though. I did get this, um... What do you call it? 
yeah right here this night vision one out of five which gives me two tiles of visible or distance i thought it meant for like the shining but that's across the entire screen right so i guess that would mean that i can literally just see the ores from further which is interesting i don't really know what the applications of that are since you know i can just see them shining in the darkness and go and mine them anyways so i don't really know what the point of being able to see them from further really is but it is an interesting little perk uh it looks like i mean i could just run back i guess and go back from the way i came uh no there's turns there's twists and turns i can't do it okay there we go we're fine um boom it seems like there's a lot of plants right over here though for some reason not quite sure why that would be it would be nice to just kind of navigate the entirety of the uh the gorm trail though and just see like where it leads it's kind of like the underworld in terraria honestly you can just you can just reach the underworld and then you can just go you know along the top of the underworld and just you know get into the um under areas i guess of all of the different um biomes i guess it would only be kind of cave and jungle that you can directly reach from there because like the ice biome doesn't go that deep and blah 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 but whatever man you cut you get the point you get the analogy right you can just find like all these little passage areas right just to these different little cave areas where you can just grab all sorts of goodies you know just plants and roots and more plants and ores and stuff so it's very useful to travel around the uh the bug trail i think it's how i first found the like big ruins area or one of the big ruins areas during the alpha as well which we will you know check out at some point i just don't even know if we're strong enough to really go into the the ruins because i mean we had a tussle with a couple of those uh cavelings and they really handed it to us <laughs> they, they were doing like what like 100 damage in one hit i could survive two hits by now maybe three depending on how much the uh the armor actually you know gives me as far as effective defense so here's the area where i think i saw the hive area before right was it up here i think i saw it up here right I, it was right here wasn't it by this the this tiny little pond no it wasn't where the fuck did i see it bruh down here it had to be down here i remember it was next to a body of water the the hive uh area that i'm i keep talking about that i think might lead to actual hive caves um which we have found none of so far uh let's just go down there then i suppose at least this dash helps us move across the slime a little bit um let me through was this over yeah there we go so can i mine it i know that you couldn't Fuck, yeah, you still can't do it. Oh, this stuff is bothering. Look at how it moves. Uh, uh, no, not good. Can I get to it from here? Like, if I, like, bridge across, is there an entrance into it? Doesn't look like it. Um, it looks like this is clay. The hive is, like, right here, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, we're in. Uh. Okay, so I don't think I really want that. It see, I don't think this is the same thing as the one at home, right? Oh God, no, stop breaking my stuff. No, that's rude. You can't do that. No, stop breaking my torches, bro. Man, that guy got attracted from like super far away. Okay, well, I guess I'll take this. Uh, uh, ah, no, stop it. Stop breaking my stuff. I'm quite hungry. You're talking? That's not legal. You cannot do that. Uh, no. Oh no, that's me talking. That's not the fucking thing. I thought I thought that the man. I'm so dumb. Your boy is stupid as fuck. This is nothing new, but god damn, there's a big boy right there. I can shoot that guy. Man, I really need some more damage though. Ow! Stop it. Okay, got him. You wanna? Yeah, just. Do your thing. Okay, so now we do got to be careful with this. We got to mine this all up because this stuff will hurt us. I guess I'll grab it. Um, take it with me. I don't really need any more of the slime for right now. This stuff might have some useful applications too. I don't really know. 
Oh, that's a skull. So this area, um... So traps obviously do not care who you are. Well, these ones don't. There is the type that I can make at home I forgot about, uh, but we can make a type of trap at home that does not um, attack us, only enemies. Um, looks like there's, did that one die? I'm just gonna remove as much of the stuff as I can. You can just instantly remove spikes with a shovel, which kind of makes sense. Uh, let's just, you know, move, remove most of, ouch, I didn't even see that. I'm so bad. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in there. Okay, I gotta make this guy stop eating all my torches, bro. So I'm out of torches. Again. I'm just using all of them. I don't know, I like to see, like, really light areas up, because I don't like the darkness, and I don't like getting attacked in the dark and stuff. Oh, 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 I really should not have done that. It looks like that they aren't chasing, though. The big, uh, the big things. Or the bulbous things, I guess. Did they just all blow up? They did. No, some of them did. I can snipe that one. Oh, shit. Um. Oh. Oh, none of them actually blew up. That's weird. The other ones that I was close to were able to. Can I... Ugh. I don't like that. Why is this glowing? Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 good. Hey. Hey, friend. No. No, leave my torches alone. Ouch. I hate- I died- no, stop it. Fuck. Ow, dude. New talent point in Vitality? Have I- have I even gotten one of those before? I have. I have two. Oh yeah, give me more of that health, bro. Eh. Eh. The big guys are so tanky. Oh, my sword broke. Okay, I guess we'll switch it out like this. I don't want this. Why is this a spike room? And where's all my music? I'll go back to the glowing room in a second. Just give me a, a second, like I said. Where's this going, though? Nowhere, apparently. Okay, can I mine this? Okay, it's just some gold and clay. Okay, and... Uh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, let me break the torch first. Like... Ugh, look at that. It's fucking gross. This place is so weird. Uh, look at how all the walls just move. Uh, not a fan. Is this like just a bunch of tin here in the, in the sand, bro? Liddy. Just mine up that one piece that was in the clay. We'll just leave that there uh, and go to the glowing room. And then I think we'll leave. Is there any spikes? Oh, there's one that I missed. Punch it. Yeah, punch that spike out of the ground because that makes so much sense. We'll break all of these first, because why not? Punching the... I don't even know. Uh, what are these? Oh, there's a bloody skull. A bl bloody skull came out of, out of one of the meat pods. I guess that's what we'll call them. This is really weird, because, like, this is, like, insinuating that there's an area above, right? Like, there's light shining down. There's, like, a big hole above us is what I think this is, like, insinuating. But, I don't know. It's kind of weird. A tin axe. A slower but more damaging weapon against multiple enemies. They're like grub not. That's kind of disgusting. Uh, I guess we'll throw away the chrysalis since we already have a bunch of that. We don't really need it for the moment. Uh, we can grab this because we already have some of it. And then... I don't know, what else? I guess we'll throw away these and just take the axe. I would kind of like this chest too, but like, I don't have any actual um, extra space. I guess the tin sword. This thing isn't that hard to make. I don't need this. It would be nice to grab scrap parts from it, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, maybe I, I should have just thrown it away, though. I should have just kept it in my... Ouch. In my, um, my garbage, uh, section. Ah, look, look, there's another one! Where the fuck did you come from? They're just spawning out of nowhere! Anyways, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're gonna get, get out of here. Um, I am, I am about, about finished with, uh, friggin' bugs for the moment. All right, well, that was that was quite a thing that happened, man. I think we have a couple things that we can just sell to this guy, right? We have these, which are 20 total, so not very valuable. These are 27. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I'm like, how do you get how do you get a, a one right here out of three items? Uh, why are spikes so expensive? What the hell, dude? One of them is worth six. That's a lot for like a singular item. Less of a chest and more like a living organism. Yeah, that's not. That's not weird at all. I guess I'll just put this with my my uh, my weapons. 
and we'll just put these like down here all right there we go oh wait was there like one other thing yeah this grub knot it's fucking nasty like what the hell even is that that's gross all right let me let me sort all my stuff and start all my stuff uh you know uh or start all my ores smelting <laughs> let me sort all my stuff and start all my stuff bros give me a second okay so i think that that'll do it for the exploration for today um i'll probably have cut that up a lot i would like to um i'd like to make a farming area though since i don't actually have one of those right now uh where could i make that i guess i could do something with like this area down here i don't really know how i would really be able to like link any of this although i wouldn't really have to you know there's not really a reason for me to do that uh, but, like, you know, I could make, like, a big-ass area down here for farming. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of having an idea where I can do something over here that is kind of sectional-looking uh, with, like, nine of, like, each plant. I think I've seen this, like, in an image somewhere. I think it's a nifty idea. You should do, like, nine of, like, each plant, and then you, like, separate them with stuff. I could do something, like, 15 of each plant as well. Let me just check how many seeds I have and which plants... So, like, I mean, I could do 15 of each, right? I don't think that'd be that big of a deal. And I kind of want to do it with, um, to do it with white paint, just because it's, you know, it's typical. Not typical, it's just it's clean looking. And then, uh, it's down here, right, where I can make the stuff here. I need clay for the paintable floors. That makes sense. It's like ceramic. You, like, paint ceramic. I should have some paintable floors, actually. I don't know why I'm doing this. Whatever, I'm an idiot. Uh, it's fine. Okay, we'll go down here and start making an area for this, though. I wonder, would an upgraded hoe even do anything in this game? Like, honestly. We'll do, like, so, like, three rows of, whoops, five. Oh, well, it broke. Can I make a tin hoe? Let me, let me look. Is there is there a tin hoe? Is that a thing I can make? I can. And then, I don't know how much I actually needed. She it. I didn't really look. Why is there a bug in my base? Why is there a little bug in my base? Get squashed. Get squashed, you hoe. Why were you in my base? How did you even get inside? Did they? Did it just spawn on the wood, bruh? The bug was like, nah, I don't give a fuck about, about, about your base, bruh. I'm gonna I'm spawn on, on your shit, my dude. Let's uh, punch out all these torches for now. Uh, and just put one, like, here. Here. Like that. That's enough light. And we're gonna do something like this. I don't know how we're gonna be, like, connecting any of this, but... I don't know. We'll figure it out. So white, it does look nice. I, I, I do like that. It is very clean looking. And now I will make uh, the actual place where we can harvest all of our stuff. I don't think we're gonna need more plants than this. Uh, like, I mean, 15 of each should be good enough. And I mean, you know, it's, I mean, it's definitely enough. It, the stuff grows really fast, so it's not really a big deal. We'll have a good supply of all the plants uh as long as you know these are the only plants in the game which i think that they are there's only three in the original one uh or in the alpha version i keep saying original because that's just like i don't even know i don't even know what like bruh what bruh like even like bruh i have no fucking clue did i put all my stuff away because i kind of want to make a better watering can if i can and i can't so that's fine it'd be cool if there's a way to like irrigate i don't know if there is i doubt that there's something like that um like, because I know, you know, in Minecraft, you can just place, um, you can just hoe ground and then place water, like, you know, in, like, this sort of area next to it. And, or, like, you know, you can put, like, it between two rows or whatever, um, of plants. And it'll just, you know, you know keep the, uh, the ground fertilized or not fertilized, moisturized. I guess that works. Because, you know, this is going to be a real chore doing this over and over again, but gonna want to do it for all the food and you know you can probably sell this stuff for a decent amount as well so for whatever we'd want to buy also probably you know this is fine this is probably overkill for as much as we need though low-key like we probably do not need this amount of plants i think just three or like a three by three of each would have been fine and i do not have enough of these i need like uh 15 or 20 more so i'll go make 20 more here we go we could even you know color the outside of this like a, a square of stuff differently and let's just punch out this torch because symmetry all right there we go we got ourselves uh some nice or a nice little area for all of our plants to grow um yeah i think that's just gonna do it you know i'll uh in the next episode i'll like i don't know probably just make this into its own just room sort of thing i don't know what that really prevents but you know just to make it look house-like 
Because, you know, in most games, you'd want to protect your stuff from, like, mobs running over them or, you know, stuff like that. Also, here's this axe, which just swings slower. I didn't actually take a look at, but one-shot slimes, which is, you know, nifty. It's a cool little weapon. One that I have not seen before, but is very, you know, nice to have. I think it, it does more damage than the sword, doesn't it? Yeah, by like a significant amount. So big old area damage looking piece of thing right there. Maybe I'll do something with these camp items as well. I don't know. We'll just put them all in there for now, though, and put these materials away. And yeah, that's going to be it. Hope that you guys did enjoy. Uh, we didn't get anything really, you know, significant done, but I think that's going to be a lot of these videos because I am trying to just record for like an hour or less if possible for all of them. So I don't have to go through so much footage. I, although I end up doing it anyways, and th these videos end up taking like three hours to edit anyways. Although my Terraria ones take like five to six hours a lot of the time. So, and I'm not the most efficient editor. So maybe it's like two and four as opposed to like three and six, but you know, it's whatever. Um, yeah, uh, that's gonna be all for today, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.